right, my Leos. What's going on? Nice to see you. Let me just shake out my energy a little bit. Um, okay. So you may be focusing on your heart health. You may have to up your cardio game. Um, I have some channeled messages for you. Uh, this week, I guess I'm writing down messages ahead of time. That's just how it's been going so far uh, with the reads. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit and know that roles can be reversed. If I say it to you, it could be your person. I do talk a little, a little dirty. So if you get offended, just find your way out of the read. Come and get another day. You may be having a hard time lighting things up, Leo. The passion may be, I don't know, dwindling between you and somebody. Deep breath. Hmm. I'm smelling chocolate chip mint. Mint chocolate chip. Like, uh, hmm. Like thin mints. It smells so good. Somebody smells really good. Damn. Okay. I could sit in this. But it, it, I'm not smelling this. This is like smelling minty. This is blood sage. Blood sage doesn't smell minty. Hmm. There may be like, maybe you're inhaling some essential oils like peppermint essential oils or you're needing to uh, eucalyptus. <sighs> so, really nice. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Somebody loves the way you smell maybe. Okay. Let me say my prayer. Hold tight. Hold tight, Leo. Hold tight. Okay, if you want to book with me, rootsandrewards.com, just uh, request a read over there. All right, Leo, so channeled messages that I wrote down as I was getting ready for your read. Time and time again, the same thing, time and time again. I also um, pulled Cindy Larper song time after time uh i now also pulled juice world or juicy world lucid dreams um you bring out the shadows in me it's a love hate uh you just feel like you keep falling you could be a personal trainer you may like to go on boats or be on the water and there's leaving energy with the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck in reverse kind of feeling like you guys are leaving a partnership you're leaping away uh from this person because it's time and time again it's like you bring me down you bring the worst out of me i love you but i hate you you just there's a lot of foolish energy maybe young energy uh, unstable energy with this person, Aries, Aquarius energy. Um, so go listen to those two songs, Juice World or Juicy World, I don't know how to say his name, and Lucid Dreams and Time After Time. So Leo, what's going on with the Leos? Sun card Leo, you're getting some type of enlightenment that you're not happy here. You're not happy. You don't feel empowered. You want to go after passionate things. It landed on my, ooh, my red agate here, which is sacral, connects with the sacral chakra. And that's about, you know, sexual desires, creativity. You, you may be bored where you are at. You might be bored, Leo, with this person because it's time and after time. It's like, or maybe time goes by, you don't have a lot of sex with this person. Leo, you have rowing away from conflict, getting in the boat and traveling the world, closing a cycle with this person. 
next person possibly is a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups, becoming more balanced in your emotions. So you're going to leap away from this person and you're going to feel really good. Once you leap away from this person, once you come out of this uh, commitment, once you come out of um, this marriage, maybe you're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel really good. You're going to get recognized. You're trotting away. You're feeling really empowered. Leo. Some of you guys. Yeah, you're coming out of uh, divorcing here. Divorcing. Coming out of feeling disappointed and lack energy. You can find yourself in your emotions a lot. Travel card, water sign. Oh, water sign. Well, the King of Cups is here. Um, who are we? Leo. Leo. Traveling right towards your fortune. As you make this change to move forward, to get out of the mental conflict, things start glowing for you. My computer just turned on. It started lighting me up. So, um, yeah, I feel like you... Once you choose to close out a cycle or a behavior pattern, you then gain your fortune. You feel really good, abundant, like very abundant. <clears throat> so moving forward, what's going on for the Leos? Queen of Wands. So you could be leaving a fellow fire sign behind. Leo Aries Sage. Somebody that's just just hot tempered. You may not even be sexually attracted to this person anymore. Four of Wands. So I saw the um the Hierophant and I put him back in the deck. So it's like, no, I don't want to be committed to you. No, I don't want to commit to you. Choosing not, not to commit to somebody with the Knight of Cups in reverse. No messages of love. Like retracting love energy from somebody. <clears throat> but then you have victory. Yeah. You're just like, I I'm happy with that. I'm happy moving away from you. Uh, you could have a August 8th birthday, born in 86, 68, June 6th, June 5th, 56, 65, 86, 58. What's centering the read is you finding some kind of confidence, empowerment to move forward, to gain your victory somewhere, to do something. <clears throat> As you get out of your emotions, out of you, as you get out of your conflict, you may have, you, uh, yeah, I think you've been up in your head about committing to this person, whether or not you really want to go towards marriage or you want to stay in this marriage. It looks like you just been bored with this person. They don't excite you. You're not attracted to them anymore. It's like they're foolish time after time. It's the same old shit. So you may not be happy with what people are offering you right now. What's going on with Leo's? Leo strength card. You're going to become stronger. And you're going to rest. You know, you're going to rest and recover from the heartbreak. I think, I don't think you're going to feel too hurt about leaving this person. To be honest, I think <clears throat> you could have been thinking about leaving this person for the last four months. Yeah, 44 you could be. 54, 45, 55. 48, 58, 85. I don't really, I don't know. I, you're resting. You're resting and rejuvenating from it. 
I'm not seeing... I see disappointment of you just not knowing if you want to row away. But then once you make a decision like, yeah, I want to row away because I don't feel like this is like reciprocated enough. I feel like you're going to feel just fine. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're going to feel really smug in your energy as you move. As you move away. So, Taurus, Energy, King of Pentacles. You're going to get more into your bag and you're going to get more enlightenment. More wiser. You may want, uh, you may be going to counseling. You may just want to focus on your money right now, your finances, and not really focusing on a commitment. You're just like, no, I'm just going to focus on you know, maybe starting a business or changing positions or going harder, uh, going harder where you are and ending, ending it, yeah, ending this and Scorpio energy. Ending it because you're just bored. You're just not satisfied. <laughs> There's lack of satisf satisfaction. I mean, they're not fucking you good. You know, like, they, yeah, yeah. Leo, what is up? And you don't want to go into juggling people. You're becoming stronger about this wishy-washy energy that you've been in. You know, you probably have been hiding the fact that you know, maybe you've been thinking about going outside of the connection or you're just thinking about like, really, do I see a uh, long-term investment here? Is it realistic? And it's just like, you've been hiding. You've been hiding that you're just wanting to rest. You're trying to use your intuition here. Pisces energy coming up very mysterious about whether or not you want to put the work into this I think you're a very hard worker and money's on your mind well yeah mine on my money money on my mind yeah ace of pentacles you just want to invest in yourself king of swords uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, that's who you could be ending it with. Ending it with an air sign. Communicating that you, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. You don't feel like the emperor here. You don't feel like this person makes you boss up. Or they don't, they don't look at you as a boss. You feel like they constantly like get get you down like just eh, eh, eh. like constantly sending you in mental conflict constantly making you feel rejected they don't boost your ego they don't boost your confidence up they pull you they pull your confidence down so i see why you would want to leave that time after time So I just feel like with that song, you've been waiting, like waiting for things to change, waiting for, you know, maybe your thought process to change. Leo, you got a lot of fortune, but you have to make these changes to get this fortune that you're looking to get. Like, yeah, look, you have to make the changes within yourself to get this victory and be recognized and shit. new emotional beginning you have to fill into yourself you need to prioritize yourself more self-love love yourself love yourself see the reality of this uh connection with this person it's not beneficial you need a really good investment you may you need to focus more on your stability more on your money you got the ten of pentacles you got the wheel of fortune you got feeling good emotionally you have victory here like this is all good shit but it's not until you walk away to explore other things. You walk away from 
old patterns or this person you need to get rid of something that you've been harping on or you feel like this person just keeps harping on things and that's why you you just turn it away because you've been in disappointment down on your luck and you've been hiding it that you've been feeling so disappointed here so you need to invest in yourself a lot of pentacles here a lot of money a lot of money you're going to come out of feeling rejected after you end this connection that's been burdening you leo somebody's burdening you you feel a heavy responsibility with this person it shouldn't feel this heavy hermit mode virgo energy no you need to cloak go into introspection there's yeah it's like they this person's immature and insecure and they put their insecurities on you and then take your happiness away take your confidence away from you because they they're not they don't feel good enough sagittarius You may feel like this person's giving you a fishy cup of love when you're the Empress. Taurus Libra. You may feel like, I deserve more than this. It's not feeling right to you. And that's backwards? Oh, yeah. So, I think you're, yeah, you're gonna wait for your ships to come in. You're turning your back away from somebody here. So I think the collective this week is walking away from things. That's really like, I love myself. That's the meditation coming on. Like, I love myself enough to say enough is enough. Leo, where are you headed? Where are you headed? Oh no. How is my phone dying already? It's just charging. Hold on. Yeah, you're, it, it's just this connection's losing steam. You may need to go into the steam room and breathe it in and out because you got to cut shit off here. That doesn't show you abundance. That gets you all in your fucking head, Leo. You gotta be truthful with yourself. Is this really what you want your life to be? To look at like? I don't think you do. I think it's a wrap. It's an ending. Death card keeps coming out. Saying ending, ending, ending. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. No more rushing towards this person lovingly. Where are you headed? You're headed towards an ending. You're headed towards holding back and being greedy with your time and attention. I feel that very heavily, Leo. Yeah, staying very quiet. Scorpio Pisces and no longer sabotaging yourself or allowing this person to sabotage you. Where are you headed? Capricorn energy. Um, tower you're just allowing the tower to crumble not trying to rebuild the tower you're not trying to be toxic you're coming out of addictions uh, you're moving away you're moving away from the negativity and the toxicity with this person and you're going to loving you new emotional beginning strength card look leo you're getting your strength you're loving you and you're leaving the burdens behind you're leaving all the responsibility, the heavy responsibility behind. You're dropping responsibilities, dropping people. And if you work in multiple jobs, you're just dropping, dropping counts. You just, you're dropping it. You're dropping it. Um. Oh my goodness. Do you guys like my new robe? It's so cute. You want to see the back of it? It keeps opening up. I wasn't planning to show my my titties but you know what it's a bra whatever <laughs> i'm sexy i'm sexy and i know it the back is super cute look it's all laced so cute 
I got it on Timu. I couldn't wait to wear it. But now I'm like, I, the, uh, the rope doesn't stay on it very good. So, you're sexy, Leo. You're sexy. Know what the fuck you bring, Leo. You're a sexy motherfucker. Come on now. You know it. And if you don't know it, now you know it. You got sex appeal. Show the shit off. I see you showing the shit off with the freaking red agate at the beginning. Your card fell right on it, Leo. And so you're wanting the excitement. I think you feel just like you're in mundane. Somebody's just not cutting it for you. You feel very stuck with this person, Pisces. You're sabotaging yourself. And you're, un, you're not emotionally stable. You're unbalanced emotionally at this time. You're trying to become emotionally balanced. Or this person, this person um, could be, be very stuck being um, emotionally detached uh, with themselves. Leo's, it's looking good for you. It, it is. It is. Look, it's going to be justified. You're going to feel smug in your energy, cancer energy. You're making a judgment call to just manifest better for your life. Manifest better. You're becoming the magician. And this king of, this king of uh, swords is in reverse. So I feel like you're cutting off the toxicity in Capricorn energy. You're cutting through the illusions, your own illusions, this person's illusions. And you're making a judgment call to go towards other things, other opportunities, other options, other people. You're going towards more passionate things for yourself. And that's what I have for you. I'm live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on, on here. And TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Follow on all outlets. That way I can bring your energy. and Not bring your energy, but bring you the best guidance possible. Uh, the more you engage with me, the easier it is for me to pull your energy. Happiness is coming in after you've been in indecision. I gotta wrap it up I'm getting sleepy oh, freedom you're freeing yourself i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness so you're creating a better life for yourself you're seeing very very clearly on what you have to do in this uh situation you were fearing you were fearing uh, but now you're coming out of fear you're not having fear guide you uh, come to the edge. It's time to leap. You were between two worlds, but you're getting a deep knowing now that there's something else faded out here for you. So you're getting out of the fork in the road and you're becoming very blessed and poised. 48, 22. So you're going to, you're going to go after the things that you've been envisioning, the things that have been exciting you in your mental that you haven't really verbalized or took action out, you know, took action on. And that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the read. hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate the likes, donations, kind words you give me on a daily basis. You could donate, cash app, PayPal, Venmo. And I also have an Amazon wish list below in the link tree link if you'd like to purchase something for the channel. And I'll see you next week. Hope you guys, or I'll see you Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, uh, to have some laughs. And that's it. You have a great, uh, great week, guys. Keep yourself in high regard. Bye.